You'll never get done, will you? Okay, I have a, hmm, another Lolita related project to get done Which is on this one You know what this is? This was a blouse that was too small for me But um but I really like this detail on it. It wasn't a Lolita blouse, but it's definitely a Japanese brand blouse. <laughs> Cause I got it when I was working as a um, a staff at a Japanese fashion store. Yeah, just girly and lacy. That's uh, the Japanese really like them, <laughs> girly and lacy. Uh, yeah, but that blouse never fit me even when I bought it because they didn't leave any room for the bust. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it became to a point that I really cannot button down without it showing everywhere. So uh, I cut off the the bib, which I really like the bib. So I cut off the bib. Uh, then this is a fabric I found on a. I think the fab fabric stores kind of just like pre-cutting their fabrics. So I bought um four of this pre-cut striped fabric, which I thought would look very nice, but it's so sheer. <laughs> So I'm not certain with my own decisions, but I'm gonna make a... So, I'm baffled that I didn't even shoot anything about making this blouse. So I traced the my other my one other existing Lolita Lacy blouse, because that's the only blouse I had that had princess seams. So I traced that and, uh, and I made this. So, it's about time I introduce you to the pro the full project. When I first made the white blouse, it's actually not intended for any big project. It was just supposed to be a, an extra blouse that I'm making because I happened to cut up the old one and the, the little bib needs a place to go. <laughs> and then it's supposed to be extra frilly because it was made in the intention that I could use it as another basic blouse for lolita cords but then uh after i had this plan that was pretty much settled and we we even got a deadline which is august that uh that i decided that uh, i'll put that together with this project and do them together so i'm making an og cord O O G called <laughs> for um, a dance shoot called uh, the dance is called Romeo and Cinderella, and I'm Romeo, so I'm the O O G in instead of the Lolita. My friend's gonna do the Lolita court, so my O G my inspiration and thought behind it. This is the the main inspiration. So it's a vest and pants and a white shirt about about it. Hat, I'm not sure. Hat to... Not, not gonna think about it until I finish everything else. So why a vest? Because I like vests. At that time, I uh, I have a black vest that... A normal, like, center button black vest that I got from Scotland. I've got a cosplay costume that... It was supposed to be a pinafore, but the skirt is too short and now a vest with a peplum for me. And then I... And then I have a lot of sweater vests, but then so what's missing in my in my wardrobe now that I really want is a double breasted vest because I really like double breasted stuff as well. So that's the that's one of the motives to to make my OG corner double breasted vest. So I can carry with other things, and then the tail the tail is just because tails are cute. So I I want the tails. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I even drew that I wanted charms on at the bottom of the tail, which I'm still gonna do because I don't know. I have to find the charms first. <laughs> so pants. I mean, at that time I was thinking nothing much of pants. But this initial sketch, I think my my second sketch of it is a little bit different. Yeah, and then and then blouse. I had uh, two options that I wanted. I was wondering if I wanted collars or not, or uh, or the lace front detail, what what I wanted for the lace front detail, 
But at the end of the day, because of that other blouse, it's already determined. So, done. <laughs> blouse done. <laughs> so, here is my sketch and my friend's sketch. She actually sent me an uncolored sketch and then I was... Um, I just filled it in to what I thought she would want. And then um, just uh, yeah, interpreted her, her drawing. <laughs> so this might not be what it looks like. Who knows? I don't know. So uh, yeah, I convinced the friend to to do to do Lolita with me. So pretty excited. <laughs> Progress. This is how the mock-up looks like with the tail. Pants. I'm using fabrics that uh, that will forever be in my stash if I don't use them up anyway. Um, I've realized my mood has been gone down quite a bit because for well, the past few weeks I've been doing something else. Uh, I've I've actually allocated weekdays to do my own stuff, which is making this mock up. But weekdays I couldn't bring myself to work, so I felt bad for not working and then working on this. This is my first mock-up but I'm too lazy to make a second one. So I'm just gonna make the changes and hope for the best. So I, I want to I want to touch the pretty fabrics. <laughs> it's the pretty fabrics that I'm gonna touch. It's gonna be touched. Today I'm gonna touch them. Yes. Finally. On another note, something else came from Taobao. Uh, it's um, gonna be another dance costume. A lot of things exist because I want it for a dance shoot. So it's, it's a costume, yet it's not a costume. Who says you can't wear costumes? <laughs> yeah, buying nice things needs an excuse. And then after you got it, you can wear it as much as you want. <laughs> anyway, I'm showing this, this skirt because it came with a tag. The tag is a custom tag. You know, when I saw um, Lolita videos and, and people collecting tags, I didn't really understand because I didn't think the logos were that pretty. But um. But this tag came and and I'm sorry to everyone. I I think tags are cute too. It's a custom tag. That's the shop that this came from. Bah, focus. Yeah, this is the shop that it came from. I guess can go find it. Uh, but oh my god, I'm keeping this tag. This is so cute. Maybe I should cosplay this cat. Right? Ah. So these are the main pieces that needs the decorative fabric, my accent piece. And uh, I'm leaving all the extras for bias binding or what's that thing called? Piping. So I'm gonna attempt piping on those <laughs> fabrics. I forgot the film! Oh uh, well, I already think the first thing I cut out is the tail, which is Arguably the least important thing of the whole thing. <laughs> it's gonna be a very detachable tail. <laughs> uh, whatever. Whatever gets me moving. I've been slacking. I've started on the vest and I've added well, pockets. Even though I cut two identical pieces of fabric they still ended up looking different, so I'm a bit upset, but uh, my pockets were quite frustrating to do, so I'm not going to redo them. These were also things that you have to do earlier on, because it will be even harder to do after this. But hey, okay, I have this. It's a pocket watch. That a friend gave me years ago. to full steampunk, but I never did. This is... isn't that so 
extra. No, I'm not done with that thing on, but for photos. <laughs> and this is where I'm gonna stop this time. I just draped it over and I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Cause it kinda looks nice. The arm size is a bit too small, so I'll have to enlarge that to make it a more comfortable fit. I was not supposed to do this today. But I guess I woke up in the morning and I was too excited, so I stitched on the lapel! And it's so pretty! Now enjoy a token clip of me sewing. They all look like this. I, I didn't feel much. It looks nice with this dress. Doesn't it? I feel like a... What's that called? Little woman apparel. <laughs> Just... Slightly... Not exactly the same kind of materials. Okay, now I'm dissatisfied with the lapel but it's a bit too far for me to go back and do. Is that I forgot to put iron-on interfacing over them. They are so flimsy. Mm, when I first made them, I was so happy, but but now it's so flimsy. But it's a bit too late to change. Oh, you can finally see the piping detail over here because I've sewn it in the lining to the inside of it already. It's late. I want to sleep. But yes, another dress that I can wear this vest with. Which is a good thing because I, I want to wear the vest with many things. So I just finished stitching the lining and uh, I pinned my buttons. The buttons that I was planning to use, I realized they were a bit small. So six look better than four. So I just I need to measure and divide to make sure that the buttons would be like, and, uh, and then and then we'll go from there. Lucky me, I haven't, haven't cut the buttonholes out yet because I just realized this is actually a pair project with my friend. We need to go button shopping today. Other than that, I finished the tail, the detachable tail. This is not a tail coat, it's a vest. But why is there a tail? <laughs> Lolita, no, no questions. Just add details what, that you like as extra as possible. Don't need to follow rules. That's why I like about Lolita. <laughs> I will definitely be wearing it for the shoot, the dance shoot, but uh, it's probably a bit too extra for other days. Yeah. I made it detachable, so I have a open end zip here and then buttons to the side. My zip couldn't go all the way because then it wouldn't fall flat here. I learned that the hard way because I sold that zip twice. Uh, so I'll show you how it. And then. And then it's a normal vest now. Then I can wear it with dresses too, or in a more casual setting. I uh, came back from button shopping and then I got all the buttons I need now it's matching with my friend and I also bought charms to put on the tail tail coat to be very extra like my sketch <laughs> uh, at first I couldn't find anything good but then the style was decent so I took it but then I found this it's so elegant looking oh my god focus yeah so elegant looking and I think it would match well with the buttons. How royal is that? <laughs> yeah, but then uh, I've already attached one because <laughs> I can't help it. So I thought the dangly chain of the star was nice so I took that part and then I attached the... Yeah. So the Pegasus, so I'm gonna get, attach the other one now.
Stay tuned for part 2, which will be the pants and the hat. Hopefully soon. <laughs>